or okay first off i want more trucking news so if you guys know somebody out there if you haven't subscribed to truck driver 101 with his trucking news and breaker 19 do so great great information that he gives out he gives his opinion as well whether you agree or disagree at least he's giving out the trucking news of the week i make sure to tune into him at least once a week uh when i do see his videos i get comfortable i get comfortable it's gonna be podcast time baby podcast time uh if you know anybody else that's doing at least once or twice a week that's giving out news about the trucking industry what's going on with the trucking industry uh fmcsa dot inspections etc etc put it in the comments but if you have not subscribed to trucking 101 trucker 101 definitely do so i really do enjoy listening to his uh it's the news that's how i get my news a lot of this stuff you know uh yes i should read and do my research or whatnot i get i get it i get it but i depend on what he has to say and usually what he says is something that's happening in the industry at the moment so definitely check him out i want more freight rates and freight lanes listen i listen listen loshan parks does a great job He's just starting it. He's getting better at it. I want more people that's doing that as well. Put it in the comments. That information can help anybody. Anybody. That information is invaluable. Uh, 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 yes, I know. I can go to these particular websites and find out the rates myself. But I enjoy listening to Loshan talk about hot lanes, what's going on with the rates, and different things like that. Rather you agree or disagree. I like listening to it because that's something that's not on the internet. Now, trucking news, you'll get bits and pieces here and there, but it's not how Trucker 101 do it. Freight rates, if this is Loshan Parks I'm talking about right now. No, a lot of people, for whatever reason, might just disagree with Loshan Parks. Let me know, put it in the comments if you're doing freight rates. No, this market is hot. Then let's let, let you know by you doing that. It, it is it is validating information all right no he says from stockton to washington is hot but if you're on the west coast this is what you should look for if you're going from boston to whatever you know he says this but this is what you should look for here's something that's comparable here's something that he did say you know and, I, and i'm doing that because um a lot of people for whatever reason feel some type of way about Loshan park so if i poke the bear <laughs> i mean it's a win-win it's a win-win but Loshan every Tuesday does once a week. Let me rephrase that because you don't have to take a shot at him because you know he said every Tuesday at eight. But as truck drivers, you know we don't do a regular nine to five. You run when you run. So once a week he does freight rates. Um to verify some of the stuff that he said on a particular freight rate uh video that I watched. He said going from Stockton to Washington was paying X amount of dollars or going from this particular area to this particular area was paying X amount of was paying X amount of dollars. I went on the load board to validate and verify and he was absolutely right. So if there's anybody else out there that's willing to take the time to do a video once a week about the freight rates, what the fuel surcharge is for the week, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, put it in the comments. Let me know. So if you got trucking news, trucking 101 is my man. Uh, that's who I watch. Uh, if there's anybody else that does the news once or twice a week, put it in the comments. If you know somebody else that goes over freight rates, because we all have an opinion. And that's what a lot of times, you know, we get these opinions because these are personal opinions. But when you read off a national, you know, like the information off the DAT board or Internet Truck Stop or whatever email I just got from um, TQL about freight rates and different things like that. Uh, it's great. That helps the that helps the uh, the individual, the owner operators out there, especially the ones that's just starting out. Because I was shooting to get to Stockton because those lanes was going for as dri I'm a drive van driver, 700 to 800 miles, paying uh, 28 to 3800 dollars a shot. Now you go up, it's good. Coming down, gonna be crap. But you know what you're about to get when you go back up. And seven, let's say if it's 700 miles. That's a day in three hours. I average my runs off five to 600 miles a day. So if I see anything that's 
a thousand miles, I know I'll be there in two days because I can run 500 miles a day. That is absolutely no problem for me. So in in a day and a couple hours, you're telling me I can gross this, but you know I get 74% of that. So whatever that 74% is, it's still over three dollars. Let's say if it's 700 miles, 71421. I don't know what 74% of 3800 is. You know, but you get what I'm saying. You get you can do your own your own everybody has their own particular numbers. I saw KB getting 88 over here, somebody else is getting 80 over there, somebody getting 65 over here. But because we know that information now, we can position ourselves, and that is a big deal. Big deal. So for all the people that's like, well, you could just do the research yourself, I get it. I get it. You're absolutely right about that. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? You know of having people to come on to actually share that information with the masses better than I can and understand it better, way better than I can. Trucking 101, he knows what he's talking about when he starts talking. Me, I'm just gonna read it and take it for what it is. I'm not gonna look at the, I don't look at the, the big picture on certain, certain things like Trucking 101 does. I don't look at the big picture you know, like one of the things I, I I told him, like, man, that's a great job. I didn't even think about how much money am I spending by drive by deadheading. I always calculated into the rate, like, okay, if the rate was three dollars, I had to deadhead a hundred miles. Boom, now the rate is this. But I didn't calculate how much fuel I burn deadheading. And Loshan was like, you burn between, I think he said, thirty and forty-five cents a mile deadheading, or something like that. Blew my mind. I, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even look to calculate. I haven't even tested that out. By testing that out, I would top my tanks off. I would dead hit 100 miles, and then I would top my tanks off again. And then that would give me the calculations of, okay, well, what a truck and trailer empty. I burnt this amount of gallons of fuel. Divide that or multiply that or however you want to do the math to get however much you're spending per mile. So that way, when you know next time you dead hit, for what I'm in, I'm in Los Lunas, New Mexico. I'm not trying to pull recycle. I'm not trying to pull 45,000 pounds of whatever coming out of New Mexico. So I'm probably going to be deadheading for about 150, 200 miles. Now I know how much that's going to cost me to do that deadhead. Now I can calculate that into the load, which I already did, but I can calculate that into the load and know exactly how much I'm going to spend off this load that I delivered that paid very well. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So if y'all could, if, if y'all know people that's giving out freight rates, if y'all know people that's giving out the news, put it in the comments. Let us get that information. Let us consume that information. Let us process that information. Let us, let us, you know, expand what it is that we do in, in, in the way that we think. I don't, look, when you've been doing YouTube for, for a certain amount of time, you immediately start to think of what the naysayers or the, or the a-holes or what the, or what the, uh, uh, you know, just, just some of the population is going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I immediately was like, yes, I can do the research myself. But I like hearing from somebody who actually knows. I can talk about this dirt on the ground. This ground has a lot of dirt. But if you get somebody that does what? What's, what's, what's the people that do the dirt? Geologists or whatever? They actually know what type of dirt that is. So when they talk about, yeah, but that particular dirt is good for blah, 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 blah. You get a better understanding because you have somebody that's knowledgeable in it. Okay? All right? You get what I'm saying? If you don't get what I'm saying, oh, well. Hey, thank each and every one of you for liking, subscribing, uh, sharing, and interacting with my videos. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and share for the people that feel like uh, uh, they just want to watch and don't want to subscribe. It's all good. Thank you for participating in my videos. You guys are still awesome. All right. Other than that, this is TRB. I'm out of here. Y'all be easy. TRB easy, baby. Yeah.